What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can make order fulfillment using Sandrop and inside Shopify. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description. If you don't have a website and online store into Shopify, it's going to be really, really cheap if you use the link down below. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. As you can see, I'm already into my Shopify online store. And what I want to do, guys, you don't have to be worrying about the themes, about the creative a uh, way to have here your website i'm just going to be focusing into the order fulfillment section i'm going to just help you uh, step by step so you can always post and go back if you feel kind of lost um but i'm going to go step by step so you don't have to be worrying about that so first of all what i want to do guys is to go into the applications from shopify and i want to look for the recommended apps here into recommended apps, I want to scroll down and find the Shopify app store. And inside the Shopify app store, what I want to do is to look for my drops, uh, dropshipping supplier. In our case, that would be Sendrop. So once you click into Sendrop, it's going to be appearing this one. You want to add the application. You want to integrate that into Shopify. So it's going to be appearing this um, installation. You want to grant the access. I want to install the app and it's going to be popping up a new section where I just need to create a Sandrop account in order to link that into my Shopify store. So here is you are almost set. What you do want to do, of course, is to set it up. First of all, a passcode because our email has been granted permission correctly. In here, you want to choose the perfect content method, like for example, email, text message, WhatsApp, Skype, and all that. So when you go into sign up, and what you want to do here, I'm going to click into the X button. And here, as you can see, here's my store already added, so we don't have to do absolutely anything speaking about the integration. Now, in order to make order fulfillment, what we want to do, of course, is to have one item uh, already linked it into Sandrop. So first of all, find your product if you don't haven't find anything yet. So let's say that I want to look for, let's say this heat combo. I'm going to hit into add to import list. And here into my import list, I'm going to select the item that I just imported. I'm going to click into this X button. And here as you can see, here's the product type, the product name, the description, the variants and the images. So here, what do you want to do here? is to change the sale price if you want to earn like more profit so for example this cost of the product is, is almost like five dollars and you are selling that almost fifteen dollars and with the shipping with each sale you're going to be earning one dollar so if you want to earn like a little bit more you can do like let's say for example twenty two dollars and twenty two dollars twenty two dollars and as you can see the price of the profit is changing a lot. So once you successfully done that, if you think you're good to go, then what you want to do is to go into the import to store. Now, what I want to do here is to go into got it. Please don't display this message again. Hit into confirmed and just wait until my product has been imported. If I want to see that into my products, let's go into the imported products and as you can see, we do have the one that says importing. When you are uh, successfully make the imported product into your store, you want to go into your Shopify. You want to go into the product section, which appears in here. And as you can see here, it should appear the products that were listed into your store. So as you can see, here's the product. Here's the inventory, the type, the bundle. Of course, the bundle is us and the status it needs to be active in order to start selling inside shopify now in order to make automated order fulfillment what you want to do here is to go into your import products and send dropped i want to click into the x mark here and here what you want to do is to go into the very first part of the send dropped here as you can see is our dashboard you can see the sale the cost and orders to fulfill it so if I choose this option which says order to fulfill, it's going to be opening, popping up all the orders that appeared into my uh, store. We have the unpaid, the linked product, the issues, 
So everything has now been added like right away, really, really easy. So if I want to make the auto fulfillment, as soon as we make a sale into the store, from the imported products, from send drop to order will automatically show into this page. You can then review uh, them and manually fulfill them and automatically fulfill them by the auto fulfillment. And with that being said, just go into the upper side, hit the auto fulfillment and enable that. So in order to enable this option, we of course need to have a plan already upgraded in order to access to this feature. So here, what you want to do is to go into the seven day free trial. And as you can see, here's going to be appearing uh, all the option of send dropped and what are the benefits and how much does that cost for us. As you can see, this one has a current price of zero dollars. We do have this one. Uh, we have the plus and the and the pro feature. So if you want to pay for that only for the auto fulfillment, you can just enable that and it's going to be charging that into your billing from Shopify. If you don't want to do that, we can always do this into the manual way and into the manual way. It's really, really easy to do this. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. I'm going to go into my import list. Actually, I'm going to go into my dashboard and here into my dashboard. Let's go back into the order to fulfilled. And here I do have the orders fulfilled. So uh, what you can do is to either choose the option that says fulfilled all orders when we do have all of the orders already in here, whether that will be unpaid, linked to product or the issue. And just like that, if I choose the fulfilled all orders, it's going to be added automatically. And if we do have the Shopify already added, so when someone makes an order, it's going to be appearing in here. Your orders will be shown here. And this one automatically is going to be sent it into send drop. So in here, once the order has been successfully added, we're going, we're going to be receiving, of course, the notification that we need to add this into send drop and make, we need to make the fulfillment. So I want to go back here. I want to select my order and click into fulfill the order. I don't see it in here because I don't have any order yet, but you'll be seeing something like this, fulfill all orders and you can receive the confirmation and then you're actually good to go. Now, Lastly, guys, it's really important for you to have already enabled your Shopify store in order to start receiving money. If you go into the setting option, you need, of course, to have the payments, of course, uh, enabled in order to receive payment. And of course, to have your provider enabled into your store uh, in order to receive money and to have your store already active. Because if you have this as a trial version and you have like a free version of Shopify, uh, this is just simply just not going to work. So with that being said, guys, we are actually good to go. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you do want to see more tools about the Send Drop application. Really, really great place for drop shipping. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Good luck.